A tremendous change in firearms technology happened from 1836 to 1876. One of the firearms that's most instrumental in that change is the volcanic repeating pistol. Now this is 1855 and the company formed to produce the volcanic involved three people that are involved with firearms history. Oliver Winchester, Horace Smith, and Daniel Wesson. It's not very successful and the company goes out of business. Winchester receives most of the assets of the company. He brings in a gun designer named B. Tyler Henry and he asks Henry to solve the problems that had existed with the volcanic. And B. Tyler Henry takes the volcanic and turns it in to the Henry rifle. The big change is that Henry develops a cartridge that's much more powerful than the volcanic. That's the missing link. Now the Henry rifle saw service in the Civil War in the hands of some of the Union soldiers. They admired the rifle, said it was very good, but it did have some problems. One of the problems was after repeated firing, the barrel heated up, making it hard to hold. Also, the magazine follower tended to catch on your hand, and if it did, it stopped the gun from working. Also, the open channel tended to collect dirt, making the gun prone to jam. In 1866, Winchester listened to those soldiers and came out with an improved Henry rifle. And this is the first rifle that actually bears the name Winchester, often called the Yellow Boy because of its brass frame. But the magazine is closed, and now it loads from the rear through the loading gate as opposed down the muzzle with the Henry. Also, you have a wooden forestock that's added to it to insulate your hand. Now, changes are still taking place. And by 1873, cartridges are becoming more powerful. So in 1873, Winchester issues the 1873 Winchester. And again, it incorporates all the changes from the volcanic up through the Henry, through the Yellow Boy. This time, the receiver is made of steel. And that's because the cartridges are getting more powerful. One of the changes you have side plates on the receiver that can be taken off that makes the weapon easier to clean. And then one of the last complaints was that at the very top where the cartridges are ejected, dirt would get in and jam the weapon. So Winchester adds a cover that's activated by the lever. After you fire, you can push it back into place and it keeps dirt from getting into the receiver. That's the evolution of the Winchester from the Volcanic to the 1873 Winchester. And I think that you would agree that even though it's not well known, the Volcanic is an important weapon in the change from flintlock to cartridge.